Let's dive into Lakewood's combined sewer system, figuratively that is, and the city's work to repair and rehabilitate one of its most important parts, the interceptor tunnel. Deep under Lakewood streets, the interceptor tunnel could be considered the backbone of our community's wastewater treatment system. It's a three and a half mile long tunnel that collects sewer and stormwater runoff from most of the city and sends it to the Lakewood wastewater treatment plant. Without this critical pipeline, wastewater would flow untreated into our Great Lake, which would increase pollution levels, reduce water quality, and negatively impact public and environmental health. Some sections are more than 100 years old, and they have begun to break in lake. In its current condition, repairing the tunnel is not optional and is something we must do to comply with regulations. Full replacement would be too costly and disruptive for our community, but there's a better way. Slip lining is a method used to rehabilitate and modernize underground pipelines, including combined sewer overflow systems. Instead of digging up the old tunnel, we insert a new pipe into the damaged tunnel, creating a strong lining that will last for years. This work will not affect how much the tunnel is able to carry, in fact, with a newer and smoother pipe, things should flow even more smoothly. Engineering and planning on this project have taken years. Construction started in the summer of 2023, beginning with a work zone on West 117th between Edgewater Drive and Lake Avenue. This site is the first of about a dozen sites crews will use to access the interceptor and perform their work. At many of these sites, other crucial utilities like water, power, and or gas must be relocated before slip lining work starts. Once other utilities are out of the way, crews establish their work zone with concrete barriers and fencing, which keep workers and the public safe. Crews then use an excavator to dig down to uncover the interceptor tunnel, which can be very deep. At the first site, for example, the excavator tunnel is only 20 feet deep, but further west, it dips nearly 100 feet below the surface. At depths like these, it's very important to prevent cave-ins and keep crews safe. Next, it's time to get this sewer tunnel spick and span. Using high-pressure water jets and some nifty mechanical cleaning techniques, we remove all the gunk and debris from the existing tunnel, giving a good home for the new liner. A clean tunnel clears us to measure the precise dimensions of the pipe we need to order from the manufacturer and the fabrication process takes weeks from order to delivery. While we wait, we'll perform other work to bring things like manholes up to modern standards. Now, here comes the star of the show, the new pipe. We carefully guide and push or pull the new pipe through the existing pipe, following the perfect alignment. It's like threading a needle, but on a much grander scale. Once our new pipe is snugly in place, we pump concrete into the gap between the old tunnel and the new pipe, creating a watertight seal and locking everything in place. We're almost there. The last step is testing. So, we put our rehabilitated interceptor sewer through its paces, conducting rigorous tests to ensure it's up to the task. Once we've tested, we put everything back together. Water pipes are placed back in their original positions, manholes are updated and put back in place, the road is restored, and traffic returns to normal. And there you have it. Slip lining a combined sewer overflow system is a cost-effective way to get our system to perform better and serve Lakewood for the next 100 years. Maybe best of all, we were able to do it with relatively low disruption to the residents we serve.